In this video, I'm going to go through how I plan to hit a sub three hour marathon at the end of 2023 in a December marathon. I've already booked the marathon that I'm going to be doing. So in this video, I'm going to break down the training plan that I am kind of thinking about doing or how I plan to get there. Now, I am absolutely no expert at all. I just ran a 328 in Paris, and this is kind of an outrageous goal for me. But I wanted to set it at that point because I think that's kind of my ultimate marathon goal possibly to qualify for Boston at some point. I don't know if I'll get that this year simply because you probably need a lot more than sub three to get in because so many people enter with that good time. So while I might not hit this goal, I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to try and train with a three R or sub three R training plan and just see where we go, see where we get to. If I don't, there's always plenty of marathons next year. But I want to make the most of the marathon training block that I did from January to April and then ran the Paris Marathon. Since the Paris Marathon, my training has been pretty steady. Mileage has definitely lowered a wee bit just to let me recover. I'll put my Strava up on the screen here, but I've been doing anywhere from like 15 to 30 miles per week week. Now, just before we get into the plans for the marathon, and I'll let you guys know what marathon I am doing, I want to talk about a race that's coming up because December is like six and a half to seven months away from today. That is quite far away. So obviously I can't just go into a training block right now. Now that's kind of where I'm getting stuck and not really knowing what to do because I'm a novice at this. I'm not a really experienced runner. I've never kind of been in this situation before. Obviously I know that I need to get training in. I need to get miles in, but I think at this stage for these next three months, May, June, July, I think them months need to be steady, right? Just building mileage. That's kind of my impression from the research that I've done. Now, if I'm wrong on any of this, I would love for you guys to tell me on the marathon tips video. We had tons of really good runners in the comment section there sharing tips and tricks with other people. So that was cool to see. So if anything I say in this is like a ridiculous method that I'm going to do, please let me know because that's why I'm kind of making these videos to share my journey and hopefully get some feedback from you guys to help me get to where I want to go faster. So as I said, we've got two and a half months here where things are kind of in the middle, right? This is kind of like still a recovery period, but I want to keep my legs moving. I want to keep the mileage up. So my plans are to do about 30 miles per week. I've also booked in a race, which I'm going to be doing on the 28th of May, which is a half marathon. I'm going to be taking on the Newry City Half Marathon, and that'll actually be my first half marathon ever. But I thought it would be a good idea to kind of get a race in, get a feel for that race environment, and kind of keep the legs moving in a competitive manner, but still have a good amount of time to recover from that before the training block. I also have some holidays and stuff coming up in June and July. Obviously, it'll be good to get them in before I start a consistent hard training block moving into that marathon in December. So I'm definitely going to share that half marathon here on the channel, try and bring the camera along and record that. I'm going to be aiming at that marathon for a 135. Honestly, because I've never really ran that distance, I did one half marathon in February during my training block, which was about a month and a half into training. Then I ran a 142. Because I've never ran the half marathon distance and trained specifically for a half marathon, I'm not sure if paces I can do. I'm not sure how much I can pick up the pace compared to when I was doing the marathon. So it'll be an interesting gauge to see what can I hold? What pace can I hold right now for in around 13 miles? I'm probably going to go out and try for that 135 or so and see where we go. If I feel better, maybe push on a little bit. But I think at the stage at the fitness I'm at right now, I should be able to get fairly close to that number. But obviously, it depends on the day, and we'll see how that goes. So if you want to see that, make sure and subscribe. Next up is the marathon. That's obviously going to be in December, as I said. It's the Valencia Marathon. Now, from the research that I have done, this is one of the fastest marathons in Europe right now. There's a lot of runners have set their PBs, like elite runners set their PBs on this course. So it's a good marathon to get a PB on, which obviously I'm excited about and want to make sure that I'm on the kind of the best course to hit that sub three. I don't want to go out and do a really hilly marathon and really, really struggle. So I think Valencia is going to be a good destination or spot to do that. I've already signed up and I just seen today that it actually sold out. There's 33,000 runners, so it is a pretty busy marathon. I put myself in when I was signing up for the 312 kind of carrel. 
Because you couldn't sign up for the three R mark without having a previous time pretty close to that, which obviously I don't have right now. My best is a 328. So hopefully that doesn't hinder me too much on the day and I'll be able to get through them kind of crowds at the start. Can't see that being a too big of a problem. I think it might be how well my trainings went rather than that. So in terms of training, how am I going to go about it? So as I said, keeping up that 20, 30, maybe even building up to that 40 mile range coming into the training block. So coming into that 16 week training block starting in August. I've had a look at a couple of different plans. Honestly, I'm not too sure which one I'm going to do. I've been looking at the runner's world one. I might actually purchase like a proper one and go through it maybe in training peaks or there's another uh, website. I'm not 100% sure of the name of it, but it looks good and like maps out your plans. So I might do something like that. And I might also possibly join some form of coaching program to just get the most out of myself at that point. Now, coming into Paris, I was cutting weight. I was cutting down because I'm just kind of cutting down for summer. It's just kind of the phase I was in with my weight training. And I want to keep that up right through this training block as well. Obviously, things get affected a little bit and you just can't push as much weight as you, as you normally can when you're not running because there's just a lot more recovery going on with your body. But I want to continue that. But this time, I'll be able to eat whatever I want because at that point, coming in and then four months, I'll be kind of back into a bulk or maintenance phase. So I'll just be able to eat enough nutrition, which should hopefully help my running obviously putting on tons of weight isn't going to help me as a runner but i don't plan on putting on too much and kind of just staying in that maintenance zone until i get the marathon out of the way so that's kind of the first thing that i'm hoping is going to help a little bit and kind of make up a little bit of a difference as far as the research i have done it's pretty much i need to increase mileage and i need to start adding more speed work into them long run days that I'm doing. And that's the two biggest things I need to do to get there. Now, I also, during my marathon training block, wasn't doing any leg training when it was coming up to Paris, which, you know, in hindsight was completely the wrong thing to be doing. I was doing leg training before for four months right up into that. And I do think that helped probably with avoiding injury. But Throughout this block, I'm going to be continuing with doing legs and training legs specifically for running during that block. So they're kind of the three main things that I'm hoping can help me get to that sub three mark. More mileage, you know, better quality mileage, you know, with them speed sessions, making sure I'm just doing more easy miles throughout the week. And then in them long runs, you know, adding in some sort of tempo and speed work and just getting used to running at that 650 pace, which I need to run at if I want to hit sub three. So that is the current plan. Now I'm going to be documenting this on the channel. I'm probably going to do a weekly series. I'm going to do, you know, once a week update on all of my running training. I know as a viewer, I love watching them videos. Some channels I love watching is Floberg Runs. I love like his kind of production value in his Matt runs. I love his channel just in terms of the rawness and the, you know, kind of his personality coming across watching his journey to sub three has been really, really interesting. Hopefully he can get it in his next marathon. And then Ben is running. I think his channel is awesome as well. So I want to do kind of a, a a weekly series documenting the training sessions in the week, how I'm feeling, how things have been going, you know, new trainers I get, new jackets, whatever it is, new gear that I'm getting, and document that on the channel. And then also on the channel, I do want to incorporate some like challenge type content where I'm doing kind of some sort of weight training challenges, whether it's training a specific muscle group for 30 days to see if it grows and stuff like that. But the running side, I want to document it week by week, that training block right up until the Valencia Marathon. So that's kind of where we're at. This might be ridiculous. If you've watched this long and you're smart and you understand running a lot better than I do, please let me know if this is just not doable. From what I've looked up, it is doable, but not for everyone. Not everyone is capable of doing it. I don't know if I'm that person, but I'm willing to put in the work and the dedication as long as I don't get injured and I maintain my body. I'll try my best to complete that training block and hit every day and hit every mileage and hopefully be able to get to that point. Now, if we start this training plan and it's just ridiculous, it's just way too far out of my league, I'll maybe pull back and set the goal at 310, 315, whatever it has to be. But I'm hoping by the time I get to that stage, just another couple of months of just base building here, doing a speed session once a week, a couple of tempo runs in there, and just kind of building my way up and then peaking in around about 65 to 70 miles during that training block and hopefully that can get me there it's kind of scaring me putting this here out on youtube but i don't know we'll see what happens we'll see how it goes if you enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe if you want to follow along in this sub three journey and i'll see you guys in the next video